Hello guys, my name is Raz. I am the same like you, a van move bike user. But this video today is not only about the van move bike user, is about all the bike, electric bike users. It doesn't matter with which bike you have. What is important is to understand your bike and how to use it because most of the people they don't know how to use an electric bike because unlike the phone you use it every day and you don't worry about much because you use it you charge it you discharge it you charge it everything is okay you will never leave your phone for three weeks on the table, right? But sometimes happens to leave your bike in the shed for three weeks in the winter. And after three weeks or four weeks or maybe three months without use, you realize that your bike is dead. And I'm talking about any bike. So, now I'm going to explain you. This is a battery. Some batteries are inside the bike, so not much access to it. But you need to understand that if you leave your bike in the shed, in the garage, in the cold, in the rain, without recharging without using the bike the bike will drain slowly but surely and in two weeks in three weeks in four weeks when you want to take your bike for a spin you realize oh no it doesn't work so lithium in general doesn't like to stay in the cold that's why most electric cars now, they have heating systems, they keep their batteries in uh, controlled temperature. Lithium don't like in the cold. Okay, so this is the main thing you need to think about. If you paid 3,000, 4,000 pound, grand, euros, whatever, for your bike, and you used it all summer, you have fun, and then in the winter you throw it in a garage and you expect in the summer to go back again and play with it. Will not happen. You know, the things that you need to sort out. So, in order to fix that problem, you either keep your bike indoors but I know some of you live in apartments or small condos, buildings, whatever, no space. So best thing to do, take the battery out. Yeah? Disconnect the battery from the frame. There are plenty of videos how to do that. It's not only for one move, it's for most of them. So once you disconnect it, but charged, so if you disconnect it and your battery is 10% or 20%, no point. So you charge your battery and you disconnect it from the mains. So you can store this for two, three years without any charge. Will stay as it is, no problem. Anytime you want. Summer is coming, you want to take the bike out regularly, pop the battery in, all done. Another aspect, so let's just say you realized the mistake you've done maybe, because I had hundreds of batteries coming in with the same problem. But there's some other problems. This have a battery too. So if you follow up my other videos, 
I show you how to know that you have problem with your battery inside and how to bring it back to life. So that's uh, for another video. You can follow up my videos. So this have a battery inside too. So once you disconnect it, this one will go in shipping mode, will keep slightly longer. But sometimes these go flat as well. So keep that in mind. Another thing is charging. And this charging is very important because uh, we change a lot of fuses because of overcharging bikes. And it's not about just van move, it's about most of the bikes. Bikes and electronic devices in general don't like to be overcharged. And uh, this is the main reason Van Move gone bankrupt. This is the main reason they gone bankrupt. First, they didn't explain to customers how to maintain and keep the battery healthy. First. And second, they didn't inform their customers how to charge their bikes. So if you are one of those guys who put the bike on charge and going on holiday, it is clear that your bike will be dead when you come back and will show error, error 6 or whatever error will show. So very important, don't overcharge your bike battery. Inside there is a over voltage protection and it has fuses because I change a lot of fuses like this. So this over voltage protection is detecting over voltage and once the over voltage the voltage is growing in your battery because you left it on charge for many hours after the battery is full he will blow the fuse just to just for safety yeah we don't want fires from these devices so they have a special fuse inside that detects voltage so maybe you asking why they should think about this because yeah, look at the phone, you can leave it on charge and nothing happens because they have a cut off system. I didn't go further that into the charger of this bike, but probably the bike doesn't have a proper charging system, so it will push voltage through even if the battery is full. So a good way is disconnect the charger, about 90% disconnect it. Some people I've heard they use uh, like a smart plug. Smart plug like this, yeah, you connect it with Amazon, with uh, Android, whatever. And then you have this on your phone, so you can see that uh, you can also follow some of them they show wattage so you have how much power this drones so a good way I think these charges they take about 150 watt or 170 watt for charge when they reach 80 percent they start dropping 80 90 they drop to nearly to 10 watts, whatever. So, if you have this smart uh, smart uh, plug on your charger and you see that the wattage is dropping to 100, you can shut off. But also, it's not a good idea to leave it plugged. So, remind yourself when you go home, unplug the bike because the bike will drain the power you just charged back to the charger.
because charger is just a coil inside and electronics. So it's good to disconnect after that. Okay, so I hope you understand how to use your bike. Don't leave this outside in the cold. I'm not talking about this is the main reason. Don't leave this for weeks and weeks in the minus. So just pop it out, put it in the house, charged. Another thing, very important, this. Modules don't have a power button, as you can see. Most of them, they don't have a power button. This is a design badly made from the beginning. They don't have a power button because it's safety. And I understand because if this is a power button, you can <laughs> power off the bike and steal it because Van Hoof was about security. Okay, and I understand. But you have to have a system to put your bike to sleep. Yeah, but these bikes, they never sleep. So they consume power sitting, even in the summer time, in your shade. This bike will drain your battery slowly. So, not using it often, keep an eye on the charge. Even if you have a new bike, keep an eye on your charge. Because it will drain and it cause problems. And then you pay a lot of money to fix it or maybe throw it to the bin. So if you pay like 3,000 pounds, 350 for your bike, because you like to have a nice bike, take care of it, and then you'll have it for many years. So charge, always two, three weeks, check your charge. So no power button, the newest and expensive ones, most of them, they have security, that's why they don't have a power button. Yeah. Otherwise you can shut it off and nobody will find it. Maybe they will find a way to do that. Charge, keep an eye on charge, and that's it. I'm not talking about brakes, tires, this is normal. I'm talking about the most important thing you need to take care of. Battery and charge. If you take care of this, you will have your bike for many years. I have my bike, I think I have 5,000 miles on it. Still works, never have problems. Yeah, I changed tires, I changed the chain, it still works and I enjoy it. So if you want to enjoy your bike every year, not just the, the year you bought it, just for the summer, you need to keep that in mind. I wish you have a great day. Hopefully, my advice helps you and maybe if you follow me I'll give you more because I will start making more reviews not only about bikes I'm an electronic engineer and I fix stuff so see around me this is my shop I'm an independent electronic engineer and I like to fix so hopefully I fixed something today and I gave you some solutions. Thank you very much. Have a great day.